Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. My name is Kimmy. I'm excited for today's video. Aaron is actually already out there. Aaron is my partner, by the way. Um, he is already out there playing with our pressure washer from Giraffe Tools. I am so glad we got a pressure washer because our porch is disgusting. Um, he's also, I think he's probably using it on his truck right now because it has like really stuck on um, stuff on like the roof and everything like it's brown looking and his truck's white but we are going to be making over the back porch today I have some Christmas decor literally out for delivery right now I've had some solar LED um, Christmas trees that I'm gonna put my big planters out there that I had the ferns and the mums in um, they have like little picks you can just stuff in there so I'm gonna do that also got solar string lights for our bushes so I'm gonna put those up today I think I got a pack of four because I have four bushes um, so we're going to make over the porch get it decorated clean it it's probably got tons of cat paws on it even though it rained yesterday y'all when it dries it's still dirty because that's how dirty it is it's got paws on it there is like white paint on it where i painted this little piece of wood underneath our window unit um it's just a whole mess out there so i'm actually going to take you out there now show you the before we're going to take everything off of the porch I'm going to show you the before of the deck boards and then we're going to use our pressure washer to clean them and we'll do a really good like before and after. So I'm excited for y'all to see this video today. Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe if you like mobile home living content because I live in a single wide trailer and that is what we're doing over here. So I would love to have you. There are a few of the before shots. Before we even start anything at all today, I wanted to show you what the porch looks like because it is horrendous, like I said. Um, but it's super windy today as well. The first thing I'm going to do is just get everything off of this porch. That way we can start pressure washing. And I'll show you all some before shots again after I get everything off because once I moved some stuff, I could see where other um, really dirty spots were that make great before and afters. So I'm excited to share with y'all um, us cleaning the porch and then all the like before and afters and in-betweens. It's going to be a good one. I've already edited this, so I can't wait. There's one specific before and after. No, two. Aaron's truck and the siding on our um, exterior mobile home. The before and afters there are insane. So stay tuned.
All right, y'all, it's time to start pressure washing. This is what it looks like before we started pressure washing. This is the deck boards. I'm also gonna show y'all a plastic tank that we put water in to hold our umbrella down that is filthy. I don't know how it gets this dirty, but it is disgusting. And that's a really good before and after too. Here is Erin's truck. It's, it's rough. <laughs> the roof is extremely rough. So we are using the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Plus from Giraffe Tools. And I want to thank Giraffe Tools for partnering with me on today's video. Because as y'all can see, we needed serious help in the pressure washer department and they came through for us. So Giraffe Tools is a company specializing in high quality garage and garden tools, offering efficient and hassle-free solutions for various outdoor work and hands-on tasks. It's innovation, um, has the world's number one auto retract technology which delivers superior retraction force longer retraction life and effortless auto organization this is the before of the top of Aaron's truck this has not been cleaned in years and the pressure washer makes this look so easy because it is with this pressure washer it's easy it's going to take no time at all it also has a hundred foot hose so you can take this where you want in your yard but look at this before and after so Aaron's going to continue um pressure washing the truck our Grand Falls Pressure Washer Plus has an automatic retraction guide and self-layering mechanism. So it's going to roll up on its own. It's not going to get tangled or anything like that. And we'll show you all that um, when we're done pressure washing today. But it has a smart lock at any length to keep safe with a 100 foot replaceable soft hose. It's ideal for versatile cleaning. So today we're going to be using it in different areas. Our truck, the deck boards. Um, that hard piece of plastic I showed y'all, Aaron actually used it on a little plastic chair that looked super weathered and he got the weathered look to come off of it to where it looked brand new again. And um, we're going to use it on our siding. I don't know if I already said that, but it looks bad. So we're going to use it there. Um, but it's very versatile. It has four nozzles for different cleaning demands and it has a sheet wall mount for clutter-free space. So you can mount this on your wall. We're actually going to take ours back inside because the temperatures are dropping down um, really, really low and we do not want to worry about any water freezing. So we're just gonna have ours inside. But if you have a garage, it would be perfect in there. Um, and then it has a total stop system. It's energy saving and space saving. Erin and I thought it would be important to share with y'all some more specific details because Erin is definitely one of those guys that likes to know the PSI, all the stuff, the GPM, all those things. So if that interests y'all, I'm going to share that with y'all now while we're putting soap in the soap dispenser. That way, uh, once we got done rinsing, we could put the soap down and this does not look so fun. I feel like I'm at a car wash. The max pressure is 2400 PSI. It's 1800 watt power brush motor. The noise in operation is 90 to 93 dB. It's two times lower than gas. And the max water flow is 2.0 GPM. Easy control. Like I said, it has multiple um, attachments for different cleaning needs for versatility. So it's got the crevice cleaning for a degree nozzle. It's got the driveway cleaning, which is 15 degree nozzle, outdoor cleaning, 25 degree nozzle, vehicles cleaning, 40 degree nozzle, and then it has the soap nozzle, which y'all saw us use just a second ago, that creates a thick foam, which y'all also saw. So very versatile when it comes to cleaning. I didn't realize how many things you could use a pressure washer for until we got the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Plus. So I am going to link in my description box the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Plus 
and also Giraffe Tools website because they do carry all sorts of garden supplies, tools that you would need like water hoses, stuff like that. Um, and I am just so happy with the outcome of today's cleaning. Y'all are actually going to see us do more like we're going to do the siding and stuff like that. But I wanted to go ahead and let y'all know about the link in the description box down below that way you can get your grand falls pressure washer plus as well and make over any area in your um, yard or garage or deck whatever it is maybe you have a patio that is super grody that you want to get cleaned like our siding right here is um, get that linked down below and thanks again for giraffe tools for partnering me on today's video okay y'all so i just wanted you to know that this right here is actually the metal on the trailer um we need to repaint the house um but there was like mildew around here because our window unit is right here so that pressure washer from giraffe tools really just took all that off you can see the difference this is going to be fun so i am going to just continue cleaning but i wanted to show you all those two spots up close because they were really filthy These are the planters that were on my porch on both sides of the door and I've had ferns in here and then some mums so I'm just gonna go ahead and take all that out and y'all it somewhat pains me because I know that if I um, stored these properly they would come back next year I'm pretty sure ferns are perennial but I could be wrong but the mums are for sure but that's okay I can always do it next year, but we have more important things to do this year. We have Christmas trees that are solar lit and okay, y'all know me. I thought this was an egg sac with spiders in it and then I realized no, actually those are new little um, bulbs for the ferns. <laughs> And I was sitting there pulling them out. There were so many, y'all. I was like, oh, okay. It was a very interesting fuzzy looking grape that I thought spiders were in. Because we had um, an orb weaver spider. Not the yellow and black ones that you'll see hanging on like the sides of pools. But um, it was the one that's like very bulbous. Like very big belly. And it's like a beige color and then they have brown little legs anyways kind of scary looking but they are pretty much harmless to us um so i didn't want to disturb her eggs but then i found out they weren't eggs at all but i am just getting this stuff out of here and then i'm gonna leave the soil as a base for my pick instead of going out and getting the foam blocks but you could also use foam blocks if you want to but i'm gonna get these cleared out that way I can set up everything on the porch again, get the trees installed, and I cannot wait to show y'all the end result because I'm so glad we went out and got Christmas lights. We've never really done it before, and I always want to go through town and look at Christmas lights, and then a lot of people don't actually put out the lights, so instead of looking for someone else to put out lights we're going to put out our own lights and everybody in the trailer park can see them as they're driving up or 
going to work if it's still dark in the morning um, they'll be able to see the lights and then also we'll be able to enjoy them as well so we've got some lights going on in the front of the house we've got some lights going on on the side of the house and then we'll have stuff lit up on the back of the house and it was affordable I think I might have spent a hundred dollars to do everything y'all are gonna see today when it comes to Christmas lights so I will link those Christmas lights in the description box as well for y'all y'all everything's clean so it's time to put everything back <laughs> I've got two helpers So we're not going to pay attention to that hello fall sign that is still there y'all i don't have a christmas flag um so that may be something i get like in december or um I, you know maybe like a week or so from now um y'all know we got budgets over here and i do not allow myself to go over budget because whatever the budget is is what it is and then that means the next time we get paid we go out and get some stuff and um i know the way i talk about finances sometimes confuses a few people because i get it you know sometimes you'll hear a budget we have to wait till payday and then someone may think oh so they don't have the money to get it that's not the case when i think about a budget i think of you know regardless of what the income is maybe you've set aside two hundred dollars for that month and that two hundred dollars is allotted for decorations and if you go over or once you hit that two hundred dollars even if you have a hundred dollars let's say for um going out to eat you don't use some of that money for going out to eat to do decorating because then you've taken it from one invisible envelope i'll say and stuck it in another envelope that you've already used so for us i just like to say okay this is my budget for christmas lights and that's all i'm going to spend on that and then if i want to refill that budget i'm going to wait until the next pay period and then i'll reset all of my whatever stuff is going out to so that's kind of how i do it if y'all want to let me know how y'all do it, um, you can leave that in the comment section down below because I do read those. I took a tiny break. Y'all, a break to me is like a day. So I, <laughs> I took a day break, but I am looking at them again now. So anyway, I probably look like a space cadet, but I was just so nervous that I was going to trip over a cat or miss a step. So I'm moving at a snail's pace, <laughs> but I'm about to speed it up for y'all. This is the glass top that goes to our little table out here and it is filthy. The cats love to sit on this while we're sitting outside and just stare at us on the glass. <laughs> so there was paw prints on here. There was stuck on like, you know, when there's possibly like dirt on the glass and then it rains and then it kind of gets crusted and stuck on there. Yeah. 
that was this so I had to scrub a lot and I don't even remember what cleaning oh wait there it is it's the Caldrea and that one is the peachy looking color one and y'all I don't know the scent but that's you can see it over there and um, all the bottles have a different color label based on the scent so if you see that label you'll know it's the one I was using All right, y'all, so our packages just came in the mail. I've got some solar lit Christmas trees in here. I totally forgot I bought smaller ones too. There's four small ones and two big ones that are gonna go in those planters. So we're gonna get these unboxed so that way what sun we do have today, we'll get these charged and hopefully they'll light up tonight. I finally ordered my black chalkboard paint so we're going to be doing a makeover on the kitchen um, really soon like very soon I got black of course and it's going to go on that small wall that's in between our laundry area and the refrigerator that way I can write on it if I want to like menus scriptures whatever I want to put on there these are the four um, smaller Christmas trees with the lights on them and they came with ornaments by the way um which I have a little DIY I didn't actually use with those ornaments but when I mentioned it to y'all I wasn't thinking about that but I saw someone take bottles of like soft soap and take the label off and then they put little tiny ornaments on the inside so it became a Christmas hand soap but at the cost of like almost nothing and that's what I am gearing up to share with y'all I've already done a few of the DIYs like that that are really really affordable and I plan to just continue doing those throughout the year um, with all the different seasons because I think that would just be so fun and also it would make for good content y'all know me <laughs> it would it would um, and I know how much y'all like the DIYs. So anyways, back to, I'm going to fluff this one out and put the lights on it, but back to the chalkboard paint. So I got the paint, but I also got a red and white Buffalo check curtain for my kitchen window. Right now I have a black one on there. So I basically got the same exact thing, how it hangs kind of like you can roll it up and hang it that way. Um, I got the same one except for in red and white for Christmas, but also it will work for Valentine's Day. So I'm excited to show you all that. So definitely subscribe if you want to see um, more DIYs, more decorating, and more home update videos in our mobile home.
I was letting these sit out um, before I set them up. But after I get done decorating, well, putting all the cushions and stuff back, I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff out and just hope for the best. Because the sun's pretty much everywhere right now, so I think it would be fine. And there's a third helper, Miss Lucy. Yeah, you tell them. She don't like the boys. <laughs> she likes to tell them off. The cord connecting each tree to the solar panel is not that long. Um, I would prefer it to be, you know, even just a foot longer, especially if you had like a double door. Um, it would be better to just get four. That way they come with two different panels and you could have two on each side and then you wouldn't even have to worry about that. But y'all can see the cord going through there. So what I did was bring the planters as close as I could without, you know, us every time we open the door, you know, it knocking the tree or something like that. And then I went and got my rubber mat and I'm going to lay that on top of the wire. That way, when we're coming out here, we're not tripping over anything. The cats aren't trying to eat anything or trip over anything. Um, I don't know about y'all, but my cats, especially Lucy, loves cords. If she sees a cord, she's going to play with it. And that is a mama's worst nightmare. <laughs> now i'm just getting the solar panel stuck in here as well at first i had it on the outside because i wanted the sun to get exposed to it as much as possible but with these boy cats out here they love to rub up against objects so by the time i came back i was i walked off to do something by the time i came back the solar panel was like already knocked over so i ended up putting it in the soil with the tree even though it might not get as exposed to the sun but i think i saw y'all i showed y'all a little glimpse of the lights in the dark they did come on at night and i didn't even know but they had like different settings and stuff so we went to the store to get subway and um, we needed a few things from the grocery store and then when we came back home there were some that were just lit up and then they just stayed lit up. There were some that were, looked like they were at a, what is those called? A rave. It looked like a rave party. And, and then there were some that were like slowly blinking. So I had to go through and push all the buttons to make sure they were all the same setting. But um, these are multicolored and it's given me, you know, all the wholesome like memories of christmas and going out and seeing the lights when everybody did the lights with the colors and not the white lights i do like the white lights um but i love the color more so if y'all like color too hopefully y'all can't hear my stomach growling but if y'all like color too these are for you because they're very colorful All right, y'all, I've got the first one done. I've got all the lights on it. And, oh no, the kitties like to press up against these. So, I'm gonna try to fix that. 
Oh, it goes this way. Okay, hopefully that works. And it only came with one solar panel. The good thing is the string lights, each of them has solar panels. So when I do my bushes, that would be fine. But we've got maybe like maybe two hours left of daylight. So very soon I'll be able to show you what it looks like dark. But we're going to go ahead and do this one. I've got my helpers here. <laughs> Always. All right, now that that's done, I've got these right here. I strung that one up with y'all. Um, I'm trying to think. Do these, I wonder if these came with picks. Oh, that's my paint. Y'all, I ordered chalk paint so we can do that. All right, let me see if these came with picks. Here they are. I've got all of these and then it also came with ornaments, which I'm not sure. Oh, look. Here they are. <laughs> I need those. It came with ornaments, but I don't think I'm going to use the ornaments just because it's outside. And then I suppose these are supposed to go on the top, maybe. Oh, no. So I may use those. But I might save the balls for later. I have some little trees inside I could use them with. All right, y'all, it's getting chilly out here. Let's go ahead. Oh, I see, you know what? Some of these probably go to the strands of light. Four of them go to this. So I'll just pull out the four I need for the trees. Even though these four are also just set off of one solar panel, they do have a lot of length to them when it comes to the cord. So you can spread them out more if you want. I am thinking about getting another set of these though for the other side of our house. But y'all let me know after you see everything lit up if you think I even need those. Because I have a feeling I might not. I think it, it looks pretty good, but I could do more, you know. <laughs> I am staggering these so basically like a zigzag how you would part your hair in a zigzag that way they look more natural like they're 
they were naturally placed there and I didn't just put them all in a straight line. Now, if you use these to line up your driveway or maybe you have like a sidewalk, um, then it would, it would look good in a straight line. But I feel like for this area, it looks better staggered. I'm going to be honest, I don't know how to light trees, how to put lights on trees, because I always get them pre-lit. Now, these trees obviously come with the lights, but they do not come with the lights already wrapped, which would be nice. But again, these are cheap. Like, I think this set of four was maybe 20 bucks or something. So not a bad deal at all. And they take up a lot of space, which is good when you're on a smaller budget. Um, but... What, what was I gonna say? I don't know how to I don't know how to wrap them. So all I did was do it like you would do a ribbon on a tree, where you wrap it around the tree like a candy cane stripe. Um, for the bushes, I kind of just did the same thing, but then also tried to fill in like different areas. And you are gonna notice one bush kind of looks like a UFO, and then my rose bush looks really really good. So you know, just play around with it if you like it that that's all that matters um if you want to do your lights however if you've got a way you like to do them do them that way i think when it comes to decorating there are a few guidelines that make sense like having different color schemes and um having like a theme to go for like our decorating outside this year is kind of like a christmas tree farm theme um but when it comes to your personal style like your personality let that shine through by you know doing it how you want to do it put your touches on it i love how these look i only bought one set i might buy another set um so i have some to put over here because I think it would look really nice to have some. My battery died, so it cut me off. But my sister-in-law is leaving. Um, she just came over with her babies. I say babies when they're two of them are elementary age. One of them is a toddler. But um, she was over here because she had asked me if I wanted some clothes because she had went from one size to like a size 12 so she had a lot of size 16s and then she had a few size 18s and then she had some dresses and some blankets and i'm like whatever you think i would be interested in bring it all over we'll check it out so i have got quite a bit of stuff to go through i actually thought it would be fun to do a try on with y'all to see what fits and what doesn't um and i just told her i was like whatever uh, because we're going to tennessee very soon um to visit my side of the family and my other my other sister-in-law it's my brother's wife she has what i call her my sister-in-law i think so i don't know how that works but anyways that's what i call her um she has five children all under the age of five <laughs> five under five i've told her or my mom's told her to start a youtube channel and i'm like girl start a channel <laughs> but she says that she doesn't think she has the time to do it um because it does take a lot of time y'all this is a full if you want youtube to be a full-time job you have to actually work it like a full-time job so most days i'm getting up in the morning I start working and I don't get done until the sun's already went down. Um, it's just all the work happens at home most of the days unless I go out and do a shop with me, which I love those. Um, 
yeah, anyways, I don't even know what else I was telling y'all. The blankets. So she had given me a lot of blankets that were her kids. And I was like, hey, we're going to Tennessee. I have five other <laughs> nieces and nephews that may like those things. And then she was saying, oh, if you, I've got toys too if you think they would want that. So she's probably going to go through her toys and see if I want to take any of those. But we're getting the lights on the rose bush. And y'all can tell the sun is going down. It goes down so fast these days. It was probably only five, five something at night at this point. Um, but once I get these bushes done, I'll go ahead and show y'all what it looks like all lit up. I have this uh, stake right here that holds my bird feeder. So I figured, hey, why not wrap this around the best way I can, because <laughs> it's not great, um, and make it look like a candy cane stick because it has the hook on the top. So it actually turned out really good. It just didn't look that great in the daylight. <laughs>
Sleep.